Beautiful Aries, this is Tammy with Spot on Psychic Readings. Welcome you guys, so glad to see you and connect with you. And I'm gonna dive straight into your reading. Let's see what's coming. My little buddy Chippy came in to help. He's my little psychic assistant, as you know, because most of you have been here before. And if you haven't been here before, welcome. And I hope you'll subscribe. And here we go. Here's Chippy's cookie. You go take your nap, buddy. And let's see what's coming Aries for this upcoming week for you guys. You know, Aries and Taurus are neck and wet, neck and neck for who's winning the race for the most subscribers. <laughs> so hit that subscribe button, Aries. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see what's coming, Aries. What's coming for Aries? I am pulling these by feel for you. Here's what you don't see coming. All right. Wow. Okay. Thanks, Chippy. We're all out of cookies, buddy. We're all out of cookies. Yeah. Wow. Here's your Aries card right off the bat. <laughs> Look at this, Aries. There's your Emperor card. I love that. You know, that's such a good sign when the card that represents your sign comes up, especially as most significant. I think this has happened a couple of times recently, you know, that it's come up. What, you have something to say? <laughs> yeah, you just want more cookies. I know you do. So, you know, this is the person who makes things happen. This is the movers and the shakers of the world. Here it is, this Emperor card. Now, what may be causing a conflict for you at this time, Aries, and this, you know, this can be masculine or feminine, it's just the Aries card, okay? Um, so, what's causing a conflict for you at this time? Maybe money, maybe worrying about resources, money, jobs, uh, things like that, this King of Pentacles reversed, or you may be having um, difficulty with this particular person. These two could be clashing. These could be two masculine figures who are clashing at work or in relationship or whatever. Okay. What? <laughs> what? You want to pull a card, don't you? You want to, you have something to say to Aries? I'm going to let Chippy pull a card for you. He did this for Taurus too. He's really into this today. Okay. Hold on. I shuffle for him because he can't shuffle, but he knows how to pull the card. So hold on. Back up a little bit. All right, you pull one for Aries, okay? I think he's just trying to get more cookies, but anyway. <laughs> All right, you wanna pull one? I have to put my glasses on so I can see. Pull a card for Aries. Can you get one? Pull one. Get a card. Which one? That one, okay. He was very definite about that. Wow. Okay, Aries, so he's giving you the temperance card. <laughs> he's really trying to get another cookie. You want another cookie, don't you? All right. So this is the temperance card. Now, this can represent Sagittarius also. Um, but it can also represent just a nice flow of energy. It can represent angels. Um, I'll see. I'll clarify it for him. Although he'd probably like to clarify it himself. <laughs> okay. All right. So here's where we're at right now. That's all, Chippy. That's all we got. So I see you having this conflict with somebody who is a business person or has, you know, is interested in money in some way, focused on money, this King of Pentacles, okay? <clears throat> I almost just get the sense like there's two men here, Aries. This could be you or somebody else, your, you know, your partner or whoever, but I feel like these two men are at each other for some reason. There's a conflict here for sure. So we'll clarify it. Somehow, some of you are holding on to money. This is coming up for all the signs. Everybody's holding on to money right now. Um, you know, just about. And here's money. <laughs> money. A lot of this is about thinking about money, investing, growing money, having more money, holding on to money, saving money. This is growing it. Seven of Pentacles. And your final outcome here. We're looking at this week. Your final outcome is this Queen of Swords, Aries, and this is about 
not being so much in your emotions. This is more about thinking with your head, you're being very intellectual, or you're connecting with um, a feminine figure who is that, okay, who's kind of holding back emotionally and is really um, very um, intelligent, really thinking things through, you know, a planner, that sort of thing, somebody very strategic. Um, not somebody warm and fuzzy though, okay? She wouldn't hesitate to use that sword, <laughs> okay, on, on a bad day. Now, you're, what you don't see coming is some kind of a potential trap, and I'm gonna look into this, okay? I'll warn you about this trap. Let's go to this other deck. Let's see. Um, the first card up was the Emperor, which is somebody who is usually into real estate um, or building things or concrete things or the Aries card. Okay, it can be all of that or some of that. And I'm going to clarify why is that really significant right now. And I think so much of it's because you're standing in your very strong, fiery Aries energy at this time. Okay. Yeah, you're very, very grounded. You might be thinking a lot about your beliefs at this time and what you, um, what you believe about things. You know, what's your foundation at this time? What do you want to do? And maybe you're thinking about marriage. You know, for some of you, you're thinking about um, marriage, maybe to an Aries or with another Aries. Yeah, and for some of you, there may have been a betrayal with this marriage, because here's the Five of Cups. For some of you, it could have been a Taurus, okay? That was, um, you know, betrayal with a Taurus. Not all of you, but some of you, okay? Who's this King of Pentacles energy? Okay, for some of you, it's a situation, not a person, because I see juggling money. There's a lot of money talk here, Aries, throughout this part of the reading that's influencing everything, okay? Yeah, and marriage. Here's marriage again. So for some, for some of you, I'm feeling like this King of Pentacles, who's the money person? Um, juggling there was juggling okay and it had an effect on either your marriage or their marriage there's something about a marriage this is two marriage cards that came up and I think these two guys are at each other because there's probably potentially a Sagittarius in the middle that Chippy picked up on so I think they're at each other maybe because of her for some of you not for everybody but it, for some of you, there's there's something about a feminine figure, even if it's not Sagittarius, there's a feminine figure in between those two males. Again, it's not going to be everybody's story, but um, let me keep going here. We'll get some more details. What's this holding back? Let me clarify this four of um, coins, okay? Coins and pentacles, same thing. Younger person, somebody spying. Oh, Eight of Swords, here it is again. You're holding back because you feel like this might be a trap. <laughs> I mentioned that earlier, the trap, yeah, the trap of this marriage breaking apart and you might be feeling like somebody's spying on you. So you're holding back on something. You might be holding back on money or holding back on your emotions. I, it just, there's something about holding on, holding tight. Let's ask who's this Queen of Swords. Okay, Queen of Swords could also, this could be who is between these two guys. And again, this is not everybody's reading, okay? But there's something about Queen of Swords. I want to clarify Queen of Swords. Let's clarify. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is, I feel like, moving or taking a trip, living by herself, oh, keeping things together. Yeah. Look at this chariot and nine of pentacles, you guys, clarifying Queen of Swords. She's the one who's very intelligent and 
can be very um, cool, cold, <laughs> you know, not a warm, fuzzy character and getting your wish. Now, this could be some aspect of you because you've been driven into that. Not that it's a bad thing to begin with, but it, it's not a fiery card is what I'm saying. Okay. It's not fiery, warm, like Aries is. It's more of a cool um, card. And I feel like for some of you, it's like you got your wish, you got out of this nightmarish trap or situation and you're staying on your path, but with some difficulty potentially, which is, you know, success, but you got to rein it in, right? And um, being by yourself and happy about it, <laughs> okay? So there's that. Um, let's go over here. What is this trap about? I saw this trap coming up. It's Eight of um, Swords which is somebody, sometimes just a situation of feeling um, like an oppressive situation, but it came through to me really strongly. Like I heard, it's a trap. So let's ask about that. What is it? Oh, okay. Oh, it could be a legal trap. Ah, watch out for that. Watch out for a legal trap. Okay, and I mean somebody setting you up careful what you say. Be careful what you put in writing. That's what I'm getting. Watch your back, Aries. It's legal. That's what it is. There it is. Justice card. Whew. That gives me a shiver. Who's trying to trap Aries? What about? Oh, there it is again. Justice. For some of you, it's a Libra energy, but n not for as many of you. I think it's more, that's going to legal. Oh, <laughs> of course, of course, of course, Sagittarius again. Here it is, um, or fire sign energy. Here's Queen of Wands, okay? I asked who's, who's trying to trap Aries, that, that's who. And don't forget, Chippy pulled this card. This can be the same. These can both be Sagittarius, fire, energy. Um, you know, this could also be Leo or, um, <laughs> hello, I'm, I'm drawing a blank right now. <laughs> okay, so fire signs, fire signs, Aries, Sag, Leo. Okay, this could be another Aries for that matter. Watch out for legal traps. Watch out for that, um, Aries. All right, anything else? <laughs> I'm scared to pull any more cards. Wow. I'm not trying to be negative and hard on you guys, you know, because most of you have been here before. Just keeping it real. Just telling you what I see here in the cards. I mean, even Chippy, even, even Chippy pulled this. So there you go. Let's ask, let's clarify that one more time for Chippy. Um, temperance card. Something's going to come hitting you fast from this. Eight of Wands, fast moving energy. And something, I feel like this Temperance card and this Queen of Wands caused you to carry a very heavy burden. Okay. All right, final words for Aries. Sorry, I have fuzz on my, in my eye. Okay, final words for Aries. Final words for Aries. Final words, watch out for Five of Swords Aries. This card hasn't come up for you for a while and I'm sorry to say it's here again. You know, this is a really nasty energy. This is somebody that wants to cut you off the knees. You know, uh, really nasty, can be abusive, can be um, attacking you in some way, you know, psychically or watch out for psychic attacks, you know, and could be attacking your reputation, could be attacking you. And here's a third party situation, with this three of cups. So it's somebody coming in with this energy that you need to watch out for so you don't get in some sort of a trap. Could be causing you nightmares, keeping you awake at night. And psychic attacks will do that too. If somebody's like obsessing about how to get you, you know, it can keep you awake. So block that energy, sprinkle sea salt around your bed before you go to bed. Those things will really help. Here's Seven of Pentacles. So there's something about nurturing your money. And 
heartache. There was something about a heartache here that caused a lot of this. Um, yeah, and getting out of a situation. Here's getting out of a situation, getting out of a state of limbo. So you're being released from this. The good news is you're being released from this. But anyway, there's the reading um, today, Aries. So I hope this was helpful. Some of you are in the throes of it. I'm just going to say I'm... I'm not trying to be negative, but you know, you saw the cards. I mean, there they are. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you heard that in the backgrounds. My, I have a little Chihuahua. She's 16 years old and she, I think, wants to go outside. She makes these little noises that sound like a little baby crying. <laughs> it's really cute. <laughs> She's about this big. Anyway, um, so thanks for being here, Aries. Um, yeah, let me know what you... Let me know how this resonated with you, okay? If you like this reading, give it a thumbs up, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye now.